In this tutorial, we'll guide you through the necessary steps to register your Grandstream UCM PBX with WOCOM SIP trunk service. First, ensure that your PBX system is connected to the Internet, as it is essential for establishing communication to our Session Border Controller, SBC. Additionally, have your activation details provided by the WOCOM provisioning team, ready, as you will need them to configure your SIP trunk later. Let's begin. Navigate to the IP address of your Grandstream, UCM PBX, and log in using your user credentials. Once logged in, navigate to Extensions and Trunks. Then select VoIP Trunks. Click on Add SIP Trunk, where you will find a list of options. Let's start with the first option. Type. Choose Registered SIP Trunk from the drop-down menu. This SIP trunk feature indicates that an authentication method will be used that requires a username and password in order to authenticate with the WOCOM session border controller. Next, enter WOCOM as the provider. Now let's refer back to the activation details for your service to identify the information needed to configure your SIP trunk. In this case, the authentication or register string is your assigned telephone number. The SIP server, or SBC, is SIPSBC1.wocom, and an authentication password is required as displayed. Return to your SIP trunk configuration, enter your SIP server details, followed by the authentication user ID and password. Once completed, select Save. The newly created SIP trunk will be visible, indicating that the information was submitted to the PBX system. Now let's click Apply to permanently save the information to your PBX configuration. After applying the configuration, let's verify the SIP trunk status by selecting System Status and Dashboard. The WooCom SIP trunk status is highlighted in blue, indicating that the trunk is now registered and operational. If you found this video helpful and informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button.